Live from the Duncan Latte Lounge. Ladies and gentlemen, in the theater, and for those of you that are checking us out online, welcome to our Duncan Latte Lounge. My name is Maxwell, but I'm here with someone who is so nice you have to put two at the end. Yeah. Two ends at the end. Yeah. It's Owen in our Duncan Latte Lounge, y'all. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? How y'all Man, doing? I want to say welcome, welcome back. It was a little while ago that we got a chance to see you uh, rocking our iHeartRadio HQ live. Oh my man. god, that was amazing! It was. So it many was, people came. I was like, it wow. was energy. It was yeah. you. It was the opportunity to support, man. And that's why I was first introduced to your music. But um, you've been in the game for a bit, Owen, man, and you're 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 seeing the flowers that you deserve, yeah, bro. Man, I mean, it's coming. I'm very happy and so blessed. You're you're very blessed, man. And, and let's jump. Head first into um, this upcoming weekend here, being a part of one of the biggest tours ever. And you're no stranger to working with a dear friend of yours, Miss Taylor Swift. Yes, but uh, yes, yes. what does it mean to you to be a part of the Eras tour? Let's start there. Oh, God. I mean, honestly, from coming from a dancer on the stage with her and now perform, like opening up, it's, it's just yeah. like. It's kind of surreal, and it's one of those things that like I have to like pinch myself sometimes. Like, is this like really happening? It is really happening. It's like amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity and just a better like, you know, dream come true moment. What does it mean to you to know that you have the support, the stamp? I mean, because you're talking about someone who quite literally can make the world shift. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and she and, does. And, and she does. <laughs> yeah. And you've been a part of this family for a while, and to know that. Um, that the, the true heartedness is there for her to respect what you do to be there to support. I mean, that's a big word, support, man. And, yeah. and she's lending, you know, she, yes. she's leaning on you even yeah. to support. What does that mean for you? Um, it, it means the world to me, honestly. And um, just to have her support, just, you know, like you said, someone like that, of that stature, and um, have them rooting for you and go out their way, even though they don't have to, to, like, make sure you know, you're good, or make sure you meet the right people, or actually just even listen to my music, you know? Um, it just means the world, and I'm just super blessed and grateful to have someone in my corner like that. How, how does someone who, you know, randomly shows up for an audition, you know, fi finds the courage to do that, you know, fast forward to now several years, um, you know, de developing your sound and making that transition and becoming not only a dancer, an actor, or, you know, a choreographer, but now a musician. Uh, how, did you, how did you feel watching that, that journey and, and being in that journey to where you are now? Honestly, it's kind of one of those things. Like, um, my manager was actually just saying this the other day. He was like, you know, you're inside the machine. Okay. So it's like, it's, sometimes it's hard to see what, the journey, because I'm like yeah. in it. I'm like living it. I'm going through all the emotions. I'm, For sure. You know, I'm up, I'm down. I'm like, I'm over it. I'm done. Like, you know what I mean? So sometimes it's, it's hard to see. But when I have opportunities like this to kind of talk about it, and I'm just like, wow, we've been through a lot of shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so you made it through a lot of it as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's just You're been... Thriving. Yeah, it's been definitely a journey, and I'm just really appreciative of that journey. Well, you know? for, for new fans and for folks who are becoming familiar with, with who Owen is, who is Owen? <sighs> who is Owen? Owen is, you know, he's a rock star. Yeah. You know, he's somebody who is, takes the stage and, and hones it. Yes. And, you know, and has goals and aspires to inspire the world and, you know, Ch challenge things sonically. Yeah. You know, and just sing my little heart out. Dog, you know? give it up for that one time. Come on now. Thank you, guys. As you, as you continue to step into your truest version of who you are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and, you, get to, um, and you get to share that. What does it feel like to tell these stories to audiences and watch them connect to your words? Watch them sing along to love, capital L-U-V. Like, what does it mean to you? Um, well, honestly, I haven't had that moment yet oh. where people sing along to the song. So Not yet. So hopefully, you know, it happens soon. <clears throat> <laughs> it's going to happen real soon. Yeah, yeah. but, um, yeah, it just, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy to be here. Word. I'm just, like, you've been elated. My brain is, like. Well, you've been you've been rocking with us here at iHeartRadio for a little bit, so much so that you're gonna be in the metaverse, fam. 
Um, for oh those that God, don't know, yes. yeah, you, I mean, you're hanging out it's with Friday, us right? in Heartland. Yeah, on Friday, Boom. you get to be a part of like our Fortnite and Roblox. What is that? Yeah, what does that feel like when you think about music and entertainment and artistry making its way into like the metaverse, fam? Like, is that next level for you like it is for me? I mean, absolutely. Honestly, uh, so I watched my godson play Fortnite. Okay. And I'm literally just watching him play Fortnite. And it, to me, it looks like just a whole bunch of like, <laughs> I don't know what's yeah. happening. Yeah. But I did see that like Travis Scott was in there. Yes. You know what I mean? So I was, I actually was like, wow, that's like amazing. So to be a part of that now is, you know, it's next level another stuff, moment. Man. I'm just like, oh shit, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's part of it's, And we rely on those artists and we, yeah. the same way. We come to those who are man. Keep your clothes on, bro. We already saw what happened last time. Oh my god! Time. I know these lights you know, are you know, like. I know. Ah! Y'all can't y'all can't dim the lights a little because I want you to keep your shirt on, man. Oh my we god, you guys! I was time. I was yeah. Y'all will catch that time. in Fortnite and Roblox, man. But um, <laughs> to to watch technology evolve, dude. To be a part of this generation where technology evolves, yeah. and you get to reach with your music so many people that you maybe didn't yeah, even that's, think. It's insane. Is that mind blowing to you? Yeah, as well? absolutely. And I feel like it's so mind blowing that I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yet, but yeah. you know what I mean. Like it's just one of those things. Like, yeah, in the metaverse, like, you there? Are we? Are we here? You in, in the metaverse? We, yeah, we are. We are okay. here. One step closer I'm with to it. Cars. I'm with the shits. All right, I'm liking that, man. Uh, let's talk before we get to the performance a little yeah. bit more about your music and where the creation process maybe starts for Owen. Where do you Where do you write from? Not only maybe in your heart and the stories that you're choosing to to tell, but where do you physically go to create? Are you finding a corner in the house? Are you on your iPhone all the time, writing down notes? So I actually, um, I write a lot of stuff like with my like guitar, just okay. like simple chords and stuff. Actually, I've been doing a lot of sessions lately because um, I, my EP is coming out um, soon. So I've been recording a lot. Okay. And um, I've been writing with a couple of writers and my writing has been growing. Um, but yeah, I realized that I write just from like, energy and like you know what I mean I never have like a set like thing in mind like I'll For just sure. play and I'll just be like I love the sun the it sun is great dope. like you know what I mean and yeah. then like it rolls so I'm actually in my like writing transformation right now getting better okay and um so it's safe yeah. to say you're, you're in your transformation era I'm in my transformation era yeah. okay but right, definitely man. I use the guitar and I definitely love a quiet place and you know my sandalwood candles okay We've talked about the some of the well. We talked about Taylor, who you work with before. We didn't mention that you were the very first, uh, you know, person of color to be a leading man in her video for Lover. Yes, I was. To yeah, that, give it up for that too, man. That was <laughs> impactful on so many levels. But your amazing work that you've done in the past with with Normani, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a couple of names here, man. Yeah, Feel free to pick go. them up. Uh, yeah, you done been through this before, man. Rihanna, yo. Miss Yonce, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. But what do you what do you pull from those experiences, those opportunities to be with some of the biggest on the planet that you've been able to adapt to your your, your stories in, in your your game? Yeah, I mean, first off, like be, just being able to be in that company with all yeah. those brilliant women and just artists and how powerful they are and just seeing how they work, I think that's what I took away from it, like the work work ethic. Yeah is like unmatched, you know? For and, sure. Um, I'm like extremely blessed. Like I can't say that enough that um, I'm able to be around that because that's what I learned. Like that's why I'm in rehearsals. Like, yeah. That's why I'm like, okay, show me everything. I want to see, you know, what's being, what I'm putting out, even stuff that, you know, they're like, you know, Owen, you don't have to be here. No, I'm going to be here. Like yeah. show me, you know what I mean? I need show to me. be like, in this space. I need to be in this space and I need to envelop myself in my own culture, you know? Dog. Oh, so, man. Well, uh, there's one question I want to throw out there before we get to the performance, man. We know in, yeah, yeah. what was it, 2021, you got the chance to attend the Met Gala. Uh, you were there with, with Montero. Boy. Yeah, man, with Montero. our family. Montero rocking the jacket right there. Representing. By the way, what size is that, though? Let me Your see. size. I, I might be okay with you taking <laughs> this off. You know? <laughs> um, I'm just keeping it. You know. <laughs> but uh, real talk, though, um, what, go, what goes down inside the Met Gala? I don't think anybody really truly tell. knows. It's one of those kind of. It's a damn. All right, not even if, uh, <laughs> not nope. even if I offer you my half drunk <laughs> Dunkin' Ice nope. latte. It's a secret. Damn. All right. Well, I'm gonna shut up now because he's got to perform. <laughs> he's not spilling any secrets. Uh, again, Owen, um, you. I have seen the performance before. I don't know if anyone in this room has, or those of you that are watching us online. 
doing the full performance is amazing. But have you Thank ever you, stripped things down a bit and gone acoustic? Um, I have, but it's going to be a first for a couple of songs. All right. Well, yeah, I just want to chill and vibe with you guys and have some fun. We're well, with that. From just our Dunkin' Latte Diddy. Lounge, let's give it up one time for Owen, y'all. Okay, so this is Baby Girl. So I'm going to sing this for you guys. From the moment that I saw your face Knew your love could never be replaced Stole my heart and changed the way I see You better believe And I promise that I'll keep you safe Doesn't matter any time or place Only you You can always run to me you better believe, cause baby girl, you're not alone. And I love you to the day my name's in stone. Baby girl, oh, baby girl. Tell you this much is true That the best part of me is you and your smile It almost stops me breathing You better believe it yeah. All the men are gonna come and go All I'm gonna do is let them know Mess with you And they're gonna have to answer to me you better believe it, cause baby girl, you're not alone. And I love you to the day my name's in stone. Baby girl. Thank you guys so much. So this one is called Show Me. Ready, Ben. Y'all good out there? What? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Give me a little like. <laughs> All right. This is Show Me. I'm not saying I don't 
care about your feelings. I need you to show up. Don't need another phone call. I don't want to hear about busy everybody. It's working out for nothing if all we need is money. If I want you to be here every little moment, maybe that sounds selfish, but I'm a fucking on it. I'm just trying to show you I need you to know that. So shut your mouth and show me. Show me, hey, yeah, yeah. words are not enough to illuminate the real you. Show me how we, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to the bottom of talking about the real love. That's one of my favorite records, actually. It's a good one. It was soft and, you know, fun. Um, you guys good? Yeah? I want my song for you guys. This is my latest single. It's called Love, L-U-V. Go cop that shit. Yeah? Here we go. I've been running and running for a long time now, and I never wanted to think about love. You came out of nowhere like a blinding light, and you opened my eyes. With a single kiss in your turn Tell me what I gotta do to make you believe me Tell me what I gotta do to convince you Cause I'm outside in the rain and it's pouring Trying to get to you I'm in love Love, love, love with you how did I fall, 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 fall for you? I am in love. Telling you the truth, I'm telling you that I am in love. Falling in, I don't know what to do. I've been hiding and hiding. Living in a lost and found I've been drowning in nothing but trouble Till you came around Or you seen down from heaven Could this all be real? Don't you tell me it's my imagination Don't you feel what I feel? Tell me what I gotta do to convince you Cause I'm outside in the rain and it's pouring 
trying to get to you. Oh, I'm in love, 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 love with you. How did I fall, 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 fall for you? I am in love. Telling you the truth. That I am in love. I'm falling and I don't know what to do. I know you said you haven't had that moment yet where fans get to collectively sing to your songs, yeah. but but when that happens, I'm gonna cry. You, I was gonna add, that was gonna be the question. Are you are you gonna be able to to stand there in, in and own it because you deserve it? I mean, oh, gosh, you, I hearing the that. hearing the voice, hearing the power, hearing the the riffs, hearing the range. Oh, thanks, um, man. No, I I really mean that with all of my heart, and, and to sit inside him and to I mean. It's my boy here. He's been playing for how long have we been playing together now? It's almost Rockwood. Rockwood's like, yeah, like four years ago. Yeah. It's been a so, uh, where I want to go with this question is um, to know and maybe close your eyes and thinking about who uh, who has been there along the journey. How is it going to feel for you to know that not only are you making yourself proud, but those who have been there with you when that moment does happen? Oh, man. It's going to be the moment, you know? It's going to be one of those things. Yeah, my team, we've been working for a while, and it hasn't been – it's been – it's hard. The transition is not easy, yeah. you know, to come – like, I was really kind of dancing for everybody and choreographing and doing all this stuff, and then to literally just stop and switch and start anew. And I feel like, you know, some people may think it's like, oh, you're already, like, dancing, you're already you're around already there. You people, already know. But it's, yeah. it's so not the same and just – and I wanted to really do it right and find my sound and really sing and perform and like be that artist that I look up to, you know what I mean? The Marvin Gaye's, the Prince's and you know, like, th like it, those people, you know? So it's been, it's been a journey and my team has been rocking with me and I'm just, I'm, I'm super blessed to have my, my uh, tribe right now, so. I, I've, got, I've got two last questions and I wanna yeah, pick back cool. off of the, um, off of the new single, Love. L U V all capital letters. Why? So I actually I wrote love in when I was in Japan. I was teaching. I think I was teaching. Like I, I used to do these like workshops yeah. overseas and just teach dance. And um, I was over there. And this is when I kind of first started. Th believe it or not, love is like almost like seven years old. Oh the, the record is really wow. old. Yeah, that's one of like the first songs that I ever really wrote. Um. So yeah, I was in Japan and and I was in my room and I think it was like dead of summer. And you know, Japan gets so hot. I heard uh, anybody <laughs> Japan, been Japan gets so hot. Like, it's I, I like heard, yeah, it's unbearable almost. So I just remember like you know just opening my like blinds or whatever, and I had like a little setup like on my MacBook. Okay. All you right. Know, I was recording it and uh, playing, and I sent it to uh, my mentor Nuno Betancourt. Um, I sent it to him, and he was like, holy shit, this song is actually pretty good. Like, <laughs> You got something. You're doing like, oh, something. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, and then, you know, I came back to L.A., and then we cut the record, and then it was, you know, kind of one of those decisions. Like, we were going to name it. I already had another record called Love Letter that hasn't been released yet. Um, but, 
Yeah, I had a record that already had that. So we were like, you know, maybe it should be, you know, just trying to spice it up. Zhuzh it up a little bit. You All know, right. Like, I'm just glad form. you didn't say it was so hot in Japan that you forgot how to spell. <laughs> I mean, I sh- I'm going to use that <laughs> yeah, for my next interview. Might be the way I'm serious. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I actually forgot no, how to spell uh, bang, I mean, banger of a song. Uh, and you, to hear man. this version, have it stripped down is, is even more impressive. Now, lastly, um, it, it wouldn't I wouldn't be doing my job, and it wouldn't be right if I asked you into our Dunkin' Latte Lounge and didn't ask you a question uh, about coffee or sweet treats that we have at Dunkin'. Now, you were speaking about your team and your family and, yes. and those who have been riding with you since since day one. Um who who is it within your family, your team? If you had that last Dunkin' Donut, you knew you want to sink your teeth into it, but you had your team with you. Who would be that one person oh that God. you'd be willing to give up? I'm giving it to my last? mother. Oh, oh man, no, right? Yeah. I yeah, know, that's... but like for real. But for yeah, I'm um, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, right. And, and, and I was blessed enough when when you were at our oh, iHeart yes. HQ to meet your parents. Huge mama's boy, like. It's yeah, like, that's the right answer. I love her. That's no. a, what, all right. So, <laughs> I love you. to uh, yeah, to put a cap on it, man, and to to know that the family is there, the fans yeah. are there, that you are, you have been working your tail off for this moment here. Um, gosh, man, I just want to say uh, congratulations. Oh, and and you, what are you looking forward to most as we progress into the end of now that we're pretty much halfway through twenty twenty three? Crazy, crazy, right? Yeah. Insane. Um, what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to putting out my music Word. in like a body of work, my first body of work. Okay. I'm really excited about that. You like, promise when, when that drops that we're amongst the first that get to know about when course. and how and where and to I find it? I need to come back and perform for you guys. With that, he said it on right? record. Do a little dance. There we go. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, and still, I encourage you to keep your keep your clothes on. Keep your shirt your shirt. I'm on, gonna man. try. No I, promises. I'm gonna I'm try to I'm gonna try to shape myself up so I can match <laughs> the energy next time you're here, bro. But for real, for real, uh, this is so one talented, one extremely humble, one grateful, and one hardworking brother that we are blessed to have this moment with. Um, it's gonna be one of those I remember when type of situations oh, man, from today. I appreciate man. That. Let's give it up from our Duck and Latte Lounge. Thank you guys so much. This is Owen. Y'all take care. Live from the Dunkin' Latte Lounge.